and we can pop on Family Guy for you if you gotcha. like. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm sure Tyler answered a lot of your questions for you. Yeah. Good. Uh, one of the major ones that he said to forward to you is the mm -hmm. strap that goes around your back of your head. Mm -hmm. I am actually allergic to latex. Is there a possibility of that being switched out, or is that made out of latex? Do you know? Um, this, this isn't latex. I don't believe. Let me see a sec. I don't think that's latex. Oh, it doesn't feel like a peach. Okay. No, I can always triple check the work. I, we're not going to put the back strap on today. Mm -hmm. The front strap is rubber. Is that okay? Uh, rubber should be fine. Do you want to feel this and just make sure? Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So, I'll get you to hold the glasses up just directly over your glasses. Okay, and if you lift your head up just a little bit, do you see my face there? Uh, blurry. Blurry. So the glasses, are, is your vision normally blurry? Uh, yeah, it's normally, it's normally blurry. My vision with the current prescription is uh, less than 20 over 1600. It's less than 20 over 1600? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in that regard, it is a little bit outside of our criteria. Yeah. So our sweet spot is normally between 2060 and 2500, 2600 kind of pushing it. Yeah. Um, so that's probably the reason for the blurry image is just due to the acuity. Okay. Now, what if you take a peek over at Vicky? Because I know you're used to seeing her regularly. So Vicky, if you put the camera down just a little bit. So oh, just so he can see your face. Is, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, can you see her face there? Yeah, like like I, like I said, I can I can see more than with my lenses. Okay. You know, but it's it's still blurry in in some aspects. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's a way of changing the uh, focus mode, the contrast, and maybe the brightness a little bit. Yep. So I've got the so this is the contrast crack. Well, the contrast cranked way up. Okay, yep, so that's definitely a lot better. Okay, and for the brightness, I can do the brightness a little bit for you if you like. The brightness a little, is a little down. What about now? That's cranked way up. Oh, uh, brightness down a little. Oh, brightness down, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, a little higher. How's that? There you go. Yeah, that's good. good? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. My primary goal with these isn't necessarily for, for reading. It's more so for getting more clarity and detail as amongst as being an artist. Okay. So uh, are you doing a lot of painting or drawing? Digital art. Digital art. Okay. Yeah. So let's try. I want to see if you're able to see the chart that I'm holding. So I'm going to pop. Is this the, uh, as much magnification as it'll allow for the moment? Uh, no, 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 not at all. So we'll go, we'll zoom in quite a bit when we're on the chart. I did okay. zoom in quite a bit on Vicky, but I backed out a little bit so it would give you more field of view. Okay. Now, can you see the number that I'm holding? Um, chart with a big dark almost. number on it? I, I can. What about now? There we go. I would probably say it's a seven. You're right, it is a seven. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you this, or actually no, you're holding it with both hands, that's okay. That is a four. Okay. Now are you having to look around quite a bit to see that it's a four? No, it's uh the, one of the major things with me is uh, nystagmus, mm -hmm. so I have to kind of give it a minute to focus. Okay, yeah, no problem. Take your time. That is a three. Good. That is a six. Now it's starting to get a little smaller. That is an eight. Great. Now they're 
there's three numbers on this page, one at the top and two at the bottom. Okay, so that is two on the top. Okay. Okay, bottom left or your right. And then your eight. Good job, beside that to the right. Doing great. Same thing, one at the top, two at the bottom. Okay. I, I think that's the one on the top is a four. Mm -hmm. Below that. Below to my left, your right is a six. Great. And over to the right. That is a Good job. What about here? Okay. I think I'm at the top. You're at the top. That is an eight. Mm -hmm. My shaky hands are not helping. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a three. page of numbers has three rows on it. So you just want to start at the top and go across each row. Oh, okay, so where's the first on the top? Right there, that's the first one. That is a seven. Mm -hmm. That is a two. Mm -hmm. That is a six. Great, if you go down a little bit lower, just lower your head just a tad and go over to the left. Right there, there's the beginning of the next one. That is a nine. Mm -hmm. That's a three. Mm -hmm. That's a five. Good job. If you lower your head just a little bit more, go over to the left right at the beginning of the page. One more, there you go. That is a eight. Mm -hmm. Is it a four? One more page. Can you read the top line of this page? Up a little higher. Oh, just down just a smidgen. Right there, that's the beginning. Okay. That. It's okay if it's too difficult, just let me know. As long as it's just a smidge out of reach, I've, I'm going to take a guess and say it's a six. Okay, so I'm going to reset you. So if you take the glasses down, so put east sight down, mm -hmm. and look with your regular vision. You went from 2600 to 2120. Wow. Huge improvement. Oh my gosh. Huge, 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 huge. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's fantastic. Oh. When is the lot, have, have you ever been able to read at 2120 before? Well, the thing is, is that, over the last seven years, um, mm -hmm. my vision has gradually decreased due okay. to Conan rod dystrophy. Right. Uh, and that's been with decreases in my vision. I also don't have color perception. I have grayscale color blindness. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to have a vision acuity of 20, 80 to 20 over 100 before everything happened. Oh, wow. And progressively over the last seven years, it's gone down to about some 20 over 1600. Uh, and they did a low vision refraction with me at the University of Minnesota, but this was the best that they could do because they said if we continue to increase the, the magnification 
it would start to distort because of the changes in the glasses and the curves. Mm -hmm. uh, because of that, these have actually been more so of a protective gear than more so of a visual <laughs> assistance. So um, for the last little while, we've been trying to figure out non-visual ways of doing things. I've actually figured out how to do my art form non-visually, which is actually an interesting concept. Um, I'm in the means of developing a program where people can do pixel art with no vision acuity. So. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> unbelievable. So wow. it's it's been an it, it's been a struggle. Believe me, when we when we found out about eSight, it was it was primarily through Facebook actually. Okay. Yeah. And I had no idea what it was. I went on <laughs> YouTube and everything, and I'm just like, maybe this will work. I gotta try this. And yeah, and I called in. And, um, you know, obviously the first thing that kind of hit me was the price tag. And I'm just like, there's no way. <laughs> I, I, there's no way I would have, an, have that amount of money. And, um, you know, uh, basically throughout some, some more conversations with some reps, um, I was thinking about it. And um, I'm like, you know, maybe there's a demo coming towards me sometime, right? right? Yeah. To be honest, I, I called in like January, February, and I asked if there was a demo coming near us. And I actually got told that, yeah, that, you know, that there was actually a demo coming to Minnesota. Um, then afterwards, I called a second time just, you know, asking because they didn't have it confirmed a date yet. Mm -hmm. I called and they actually told me that for some odd reason that it got canceled. Okay. And I, and believe me, this was after I had a major vision change in February. Oh. Wow. So it was like a <laughs> big... Bit of a blow, yeah. right? Yeah, and, for sure, for sure. And the thing is, is that going through like the last little bit of uh, time mm -hmm. and then getting an email a week earlier than this, I was like, they're coming to Minnesota. I'm like, I uh, instantly, we, we were on Metro at the same time as reading this email. We, we got off because Wednesdays, we typically go to Target and I work at the library across the street. And um, I'm like, I have to make this email right now. I have to set this up. I have to grab my spot. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm not missing this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm so happy that you've actually been able to come here and try it. That's, that's huge. While we still have some time left, would you like to try some video in? I know you said that you really enjoyed Family Guy, so... Yeah. Pop that on so you can see what video in's all about. I was interested in the video in as well as how it would connect to like a desktop. Mm -hmm. uh, as to how, like, because my curiosity would be, I know that it can do that over Wi-Fi connection, but how does it do about it in a HDMI uh, kind of sense? So that's how we use it. So we don't use it through Wi-Fi. We use it only through HDMI. And it just, we, excuse me, we provide an HDMI cord. It has a little micro at the other end that plugs into the top of the site. That was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just plug into the top here. And it's super easy once you have it plugged in. Just goes into the top right, be right beside the power supply. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Now once we have this on, so magnification dial is on your left hand side. This also works as a button, so it toggles you between video mode and camera mode. Okay. So if you're, you know, you're sitting on the couch, you have the TV on, and you're ready to have it play through the glasses. I'll get you to hold this up. Okay. So the speakers are in the headset as well. Right up here, right? Right up there, you got it. Okay. And then how did you say it was to zoom in? Uh, just for the sake of using the control? If sake of, yeah, so just use that dial and turn it up. And then you can move your head around the screen. So it's a pan. And it pans around the screen there with your head movement. No, just for curiosity's sake, can you do like high contrast and things while you have video going through? You can, yes. Yeah. So on the other side, top one, if you crank that up, that's going to increase the contrast. It's not going to give you a huge, huge difference, but it definitely does give you more of a, 
I guess there's more, there's the light colors are lighter, the dark colors are darker, but it's not going to be as apparent as when you're just looking through the camera. How does, uh, or, well, I'm, I'm, I was probably thinking of a different thing is, um, uh, not high contrast is in like, uh, the light and darkness, but I mean like, um, colors. Colors. Yes. So I'm going to show you what that'll look like. So I'm going to back it out. So it's not going to look the prettiest mm -hmm. when it's on here. Amazing for reading though. Any kind of reading, it works great. And anything that is close up, so close between 12 and 18 inches. Um, lots of you know younger kids find it funny when you kind of change the colors and they're looking at their parents and they're yellow and black or <laughs> you know Walmart vision where it's more like yellow and that blue. Um, but it really does work best when you're doing things like reading. Gotcha. Yeah. Here, here's an extra quick, quick question for you. Do you know if this works with 360 video considering that it pans around on the simple screens? I honestly don't. <laughs> so, th sorry, what is it? So it's 360 screens? Oh, yeah. So the idea of... Um, so, like, you can do this on... Actually, if you have YouTube open right now, if you search 360 videos... Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, yes, yeah. yes, 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 okay. Let me see. Hmm? Turn this video. This one's a roller coaster. Neat. <laughs> Before the ad. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so it is restricted to the viewing screen. That's okay. That was a really curious thought, though. <laughs> I've never tried that, to be honest. So, like, I'm guessing if you were to move whatever you have this on physically, then it would be 360. But if you moved the eSight around, it just focuses around the viewable screen. Huh. So how does, um, because I saw that there's different menus too. Mm -hmm. uh, two things is one, what's in the different menus and two, how do you activate the voice function? So the narrator? Yes. So the narrator is in the menus. Now the menus are quite large. There's lots of information in the menus. Oh, sorry. Roller coaster still going in the background. <laughs> um, so there's lots of different menus. I'll pop them up for you here and we can go through them. So first one is view. In there it has camera HDMI. There's a light because we do offer a flashlight. There is display which goes through the brightness, luminance, um, the OLEDs, all of that. We have camera which is the exposure, pictures, setup, airplane mode. There's tons in there. It really does take quite a bit of time to understand the menus and get fluent with them all, but that's what the support is all about. Um, so the eSight ambassadors are fantastic. So someone like Tyler, who is low vision, who uses eSight on a day-to-day -day basis, they would be the ones to walk you through those menus and when needed. You know, you definitely don't need to go through those menus constantly, but you being very technical, you'll probably want to kind of get your familiar, be familiar with them and get comfortable with them. And mm -hmm. we can definitely assist with that. Um, but like I said, it really does take some time to get, get them gotcha. on. You know, even sometimes I'll forget and I'll go into them and go, oh, right, that's there. I forgot. So <laughs> it, it takes some time. There's a lot. There's definitely a lot. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I feel it's kind of toasty up here. I'm guessing it would probably normally get that way. But um, have you ever had any issues with like overheating or things like that? No. So that's so that's where the vents are. So the heat does radiate off of that. You're not going to feel anything on your forehead when it's on. It's not going to burn you by any means. But it does have a little bit of warmth whenever it does. It's in use for a while. That's mm -hmm. totally normal. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had another thought in my brain. I just lost it. Mm -hmm. Uh... Oh, it's one of those moments. <laughs> um, trying to think. Is there anything about like, the warranty or software? Uh, well, that, those are good questions too. So when I asked them, uh, I was curious about uh, for like upgrading and things like that. So like mm -hmm. if there's a new model that comes out, how would that work? So it really depends. I, I can't give you a certain answer on that simply because, you know, we don't know how much 
the new model is, when it's coming out, what what it is. Mm -hmm. Really, what the engineers are focusing on is this unit here. Yep. So this just launched this past February 15th. Super excited about it. There's so many yep. features and functions to it that the engineers are, you know, working on perfecting this model. Um, so really, for talking about next generation, I actually have no idea. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I was just curious because, like, I've had previous um, technologies where, like, a new model comes out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sometimes they'll offer the newer model at a cheaper price if you trade up or things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something I've always thought about. With these, um, like, with kind of, like, parts that you need to fix and things, what, it, what would you see as kind of, like, the wear and tear, like, the thing that needs to either be replaced or maintenance, if need be, the most? That's a really, really hard question because it depends on how each person uses it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when you have um, someone who really, you know, takes care of it, babies it, and then you have, you know, a seven-year-old running around the playground with it, yeah. there's bound to be different things that go wrong. So I wouldn't say that there's one thing that comes back often or, you know, repeatedly that we're going, okay, this is a known issue, this always happens. Mm -hmm. There's nothing really like that. You know, if you're going to be dropping this often, these are probably <laughs> going to crack. Yeah. They're probably going to, but it's all covered under the three-year hardware. Um, I just want to make sure, too, because I haven't been keeping track of time. We're not going over anything, are we? Oh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much at our, our limit here okay. now, which all is right. great, but we've done quite a bit, and he got some Most great definitely. gain. Yeah. For about 2,600 out of 2,120. That's excellent. That's, That's excellent. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, but yeah, but it's like I said, is that when, when we got the email that, that there was going to be a demo, we were just like, okay, yeah. <laughs> How do we get there? Yeah, well, well <laughs> yeah. the good thing is that it's actually not far from lunch. We'll be going downtown a little bit and getting lunch after oh, this. Oh, so. good. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's um, great. Well, there's lots of spots, even like the skywalk. You can walk through all the buildings here. Mm -hmm. And there's like three different cafeterias where they have everything from sushi to Jimmy John's yep. to whatever you're looking for. There's lots of little, no real sit down restaurants, no. but gotcha. cafe style. Yeah. Like gotcha. But yeah, I'll put, like, like I said, is that uh, we'll, we'll be chatting at a different time for the interview, so I'll have mm -hmm. more questions then. But uh, I figure we, we've got a pretty good start, you know, obviously, like figuring out like how the glasses work and things. The interesting part's going to be would be uh, the trying it kind of like free hands moving around would be the only thing but otherwise uh, I think you know for now I got a pretty good idea good well I'm so glad well it was great meeting you too yep you too